So in case you missed the news, version 2 of Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis just dropped. And to help me celebrate, Sega sent over this awesome creator gift box filled with PSO2 goodies themed around the new creative mode that just got added to the game. So sit back and relax, we're going to unbox this bad boy, and I'm going to talk about why there has never been a better time to get into New Genesis than right now. So while I'm opening this, I want to share a little bit of my history with the Fantasy Star Online series with you all, because I feel like it's something I've never really talked about in video form before, but it's something that is near and dear to my heart because of how much I played it as a kid. I grew up playing the original Fantasy Star Online on GameCube. I was never lucky enough to own a Dreamcast as a kid. I have one now as a grown-up, because now I have expendable income, but when you're a kid, you can only choose one system, and the system I chose was GameCube, and so that's how I experienced PSO for the first time. I remember countless nights of suffering through the Dorole fight with the giant snake on the raft way back in the day. I even played PSO 3, which was like the card themed game that came out. And then I got busy with college work. I didn't get the chance to play Fantasy Star Universe. I didn't get the chance to play the original PSO 2. But then a couple years ago, New Genesis came out and my buddy McDareth, who's my co-host on the Japan Time podcast, was super into it, was like, Roger, I think you'd enjoy yourself. And just recently with this new update, I was like, you know what? Now is the perfect time to actually hop in and see what the game is all about. Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis is a totally free-to-play action MMORPG that's available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. It has full cross-play across all of those platforms, and the story is set 1,000 years after the events of Fantasy Star Online 2. And if you already have a character in Fantasy Star Online 2, you can seamlessly move that character between base PSO2 and PSO2 NGS. We actually started playing the game just the other day on my live stream, and we ended up spending about two hours in the character creator just at the very beginning. They added a new thing to the character creator that has a cell shading function, and honestly, I am really, really happy with how my little character turned out. This is the final Rogers base. No more adjustments. I could be here for another three hours. I don't want to be. I want to have my character. I want to start playing. I'm going with this. But the big reason why they sent the creator box my way is because the version 2 update for NGS just came out. And this update brings with it a creative space where you can basically build anything that you imagine on your own little private island. You could build structures, you could make mini games with your friends. It's up to 100 players in a creative space, and up to 12 of those players can have editing rights. So the possibilities are really endless. Sometimes it's just fun to walk around other players' creative spaces. I was doing that off stream yesterday, and it was just cool to explore and see what else people have come up with. In the short time that I've had to experiment with the creative space, I've already been able to decorate my living room using some new furniture that I acquired, recolor some of my exterior walls to better represent the red in my channel logo, carve a moat around my house using the terraforming tools, and even build a giant straw hat using the shape tool and the paint tool. All the tools are really simple to use with just a little practice, so you'll be able to build whatever your heart desires in no time. Now, with all that being said, let us see what Sega sent me in this creator gift box. The first thing I am seeing, what is this, like a bag? Oh, this is nice. Ooh, this is really nice. So you can see the front of the backpack's got the logo for the game on it, and actually, it feels like they packed this with stuff. So let's open this up and see what's inside. All right. First, ooh, okay, a lot of goodies in here already. First and foremost, we've got a Fantasy Star Online 2, New Genesis version 2 golf hat. This is nice. This is like one of the Nike dry fit ones. Oh, this is really nice. Take a look at that. Got the swoop on there and everything. Here, let me take the little tag off and I'll pop it on while I'm opening up the rest of the box. Ooh, yeah, I'm a fan. Oh, I like this. I feel like I want to go on the course and <laughs> play some golf. Oh, yeah, I really, really like this. It's got a nice fit to it. Good work, Sega. All right, let's see what else we got in here. We've got a notebook, PSO2 notebook. Very cool. I also really appreciate that it's got this little bookmark thing on it. I feel like whenever I have a notebook to write down video ideas or things like that, I always like when they have the little built-in bookmark instead of me having to put a receipt in there or something. It's actually, it's a pretty big one too, so I could write down some ideas for creative mode or something in this. Very, very nice. Now next up, let's see, we've got another box inside of the backpack that was inside of the box. Let's open this. This one also feels pretty heavy. Ooh. Ooh, fancy! Okay. Oh, I like this. Oh, I love like the two-tone with the black and the, oh yeah. 
Look at this. You got a giant coffee mug, a new Genesis coffee mug, and it's got a little topper on the top too. So if you want to take it on the go, you don't want to spill, want to put it in your car. Ooh, ooh, I like this. I'm a sucker for a good coffee mug. I have plenty of them, but I feel like I don't have very many that have the little topper. And the topper is also really nice too. Solid wood. So far, so good, Sega. Again, well done. So now we have another box. What is this? FSC. Okay. Leads. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, what is this? New Genesis. Oh! Is this a speaker? Oh, nice! Oh, we got a Bluetooth speaker themed after the game, too. Oh, I love the texture on it. Very stylish looking. You got the little auxiliary port in the back too, the charging port. I love that it's got the little handle on it too. It harkens back to those days of me playing on the GameCube. I'd carry my GameCube to my friend's house and now I got the handle to carry my little Bluetooth speaker over there too. Very cool. Now just as I was about to show off what else is in this crater box, something fell out of my backpack over here. So you can see I thought it was empty, but then in the pocket when I put the backpack down, this little thing fell out and inside is a little acrylic stand of one of the characters from PSO2, which is really cool. My camera's not focusing, so I'll insert some footage right here of what the character looks like. But yeah, this is really nice too. I'm actually surprised that there wasn't more stuff with the character art on it because I feel like the character design in PSO has always been something that I've appreciated. It's got a very sci-fi JRPG feel to it and it just makes me feel right at home. And now last but certainly not least, there appears to be a jacket on the inside of this, holy mackerel, this is nice. Wow, 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 wow. Take a look at this. Oh man, oh, the back too. Wow, look at that. Oh man, this is really cool. With the logo on it and everything, there's even a patch on the arm. There's a little pocket on the arm too. Wow. Also, it says on the, Anime Gear Guru, so those are my guys. Anime Gear Guru is actually the team that made that really cool law jacket that I wore when I was in London last year. They put this together for Sega, very cool. They got it in my size as well. Check that out, medium. Let me try this bad boy on and see what it feels like. Also, I'm pretty sure this is like reflective. So if I'm going out and walking Obi in the middle of the night, then I'll be able to glow and people won't hit us <laughs> as we're crossing the street. Man, I really, really do like this jacket. Look at just how nice the inside looks. You've got the little anime gear guru patch there. You can see down the arm, it says Fantasy Star Online New Genesis. Very, very cool. They managed to make like an actual stylus jacket. I feel like a lot of the time you get crater boxes from video game companies, and this is no slight to anyone who's ever sent me anything before, but sometimes you get shirts in them that like you wouldn't necessarily wear out somewhere. I would absolutely wear this to dinner or something. This is super, super nice. And I don't know very many other people who are gonna have a Fantasy Star Online jacket, but actually two of you watching this video right now are about to be the proud owners of not just this jacket but everything in today's creator gift box as well because I have teamed up with Sega to do a creator gift box giveaway in honor of version 2 of New Genesis. All you need to do to enter is to submit a video on the social media platform of your choice. You can do Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, whatever. Submit a video to me of your creative space from PSO2 NGS's new version 2 update. Then I am going to be judging your creative spaces on a live stream two weeks from now on my Twitch channel. And during that live stream, I'm gonna pick two winners based on how cool I thought their creative space was. And don't be afraid to get wild with your submissions. One space that I visited had a full on resort to explore with a pool. Another one had a beautifully decorated elevated moon viewing garden complete with photo ops. There was even an official Sega creative space complete with Sonic statues and a miniature green hill zone course. Now when you submit the video post to me with your creative space, you need to make sure to tag me at Rogers Base and you need to also write two hashtags on that video post so we can find it. First, you have to use the hashtag PSO2NGS and the hashtag Fantasy Star Giveaway. Once you've done that, submit the link to your upload through the link in the description of my video and make sure to get it to me by June 22nd. So once again, post a video of your creative space, tag me, use those hashtags and get it to me by June 22nd and you will be eligible to win a creator gift box 
box for yourself. I am very much looking forward to seeing what you're going to create in the creative space in PSO2 New Genesis. And I really just want to say once again, massive thank you to Sega for sending over this really awesome gift box and sponsoring today's video. I sincerely appreciate it. And thank you so much for teaming up with me to do this giveaway too. It's going to be a lot of fun. I look forward to seeing your creative space entries. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye, everybody.